Over my last year working at Algo Expert, I've been able to play a role in the interview prep process of countless front-end engineers. Many of you have been kind enough to share your experiences with me, so this video is basically going to be a compilation of that information, and hopefully it should be a good starting place for preparing for your front-end interviews. The biggest question I see is, what are front-end interviews anyways? Do they even really exist? Or are all software developers interviewed in the exact same way? And I know where this question is coming from. There's not nearly as much information out there about front-end interviews as there is for other types of developer interviews. But yes, they absolutely do exist, just with the caveat that they differ a lot from company to company, and there are even some companies that do just interview all software engineers in the same way, instead of doing anything specific for the front-end. For the most part though, Front-end interviews are meant to be a test of your skills as a specialized developer on the front-end. These aren't usually super complicated puzzles with lots of traps to fall into, but rather they're somewhat practical front-end coding problems. That's not to say they aren't difficult because they absolutely can be, but if you know what to focus on, they can actually be pretty easy to study for. So like I said, it varies a lot from company to company, but the most common type of interview question will be to implement some kind of vanilla JavaScript function. Or you might be asked to add some functionality to a website using JavaScript and DOM manipulation. HTML and CSS usually aren't tested as directly, but you might be asked some general questions about them, such as what is the difference between the head and the body, or what is the box model in CSS. On the other hand, you might just need a bit of knowledge in HTML and CSS to solve the main question that is using JavaScript. However, this of course can also vary a ton. There are some companies and roles where you might actually get an interview where you are expected to write HTML or CSS from scratch. So of course you should be prepared to do that as well. I've even heard of a few peer CSS interviews, but these are usually for very specialized jobs where they're really looking to just hire a CSS expert. You might also be asked to implement something in whatever framework the company uses if they're looking to hire an expert in that framework. Usually if they are, the job title will say something to the effect of React Developer or Angular Engineer. It's not just going to be generic front-end developer. However, for big tech companies, they tend to avoid both these types of questions and these types of jobs because they can easily afford to spend time and resources teaching you their stack on the job. It's much more important for them that you just have a strong foundation as a front-end engineer and then once you get the job, they can teach you whatever they need to teach you for you to be able to succeed in that job. So as you study, just like anything else, I would try to go at it with a clear plan and roadmap and try to customize that roadmap for your own timeline, your current ability level, and whatever jobs you're trying to get. If you're looking for a bit more structure to follow, then of course I would recommend checking out my course, Frontend Expert, linked in the description below. There's somewhere around 80 crash course videos on the fundamentals of web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React, as well as 50 practice problems, each with a video explanation of their own. There's a few free videos in there as well, so just check those out first to see if it's something you think would be worthwhile for your study. If so, you can use code Connor for a small discount. But enough of the shameless plug, if you're looking for just a basic idea of what to study, I would break your studying into three main categories, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I would usually recommend to focus about 75% of your study time on JavaScript and the rest on HTML and CSS, but that will likely vary based on your own confidence in those languages as well as just the types of roles you're applying for. For instance, if you're applying for a role with a front-end team working on a design system, you likely want to spend more time studying CSS as it will be a larger part of the job and thus more likely to come up in the interviews. For HTML, focus on first of all knowing the most common tags. Don't worry too much about the more obscure ones as it would usually be pretty unreasonable to expect you to know those, unless of course you're applying to one of these more specialized jobs. Other than that, just focus on understanding semantic HTML and other ways to use HTML to create accessible websites such as ARIA attributes. These little things are the things that can actually set you apart a little bit and show that you have a bit more mastery of HTML than your standard developer. With CSS, of course, start by becoming proficient with the most common properties and selectors. It's also worth noting that you should be doing this using vanilla development 
since many interviews won't allow you to use tools like SAS. And from here, you should become relatively confident in creating somewhat complex layouts using position, the box model, Flexbox, and Grid, with the biggest emphasis on Flexbox, just because it tends to get used a ton in modern development. I also think it's one of those really misunderstood parts of the language, and it's kind of one of those things that you never truly learn if you don't take the time to watch a video or just read the documentation. So again, I think this gives you a good place that's pretty easy to stand out from your average developer. And now of course comes JavaScript. You'll want to focus on the parts of JavaScript that make it unique. Any developer can quickly learn another language's syntax, but a good front-end engineer should know the features unique to JavaScript and why they matter. Some of the important ones are going to be the event loop, promises, timers, closures, the this keyword, prototypal inheritance, being able to make fetch requests, and manipulating arrays and objects with the more modern ES6 syntax. A great way to practice JavaScript is to try to implement your own version of built-in classes and functions, or just ones from popular libraries like underscore. For example, try implementing your own version of promises, or re-implement the built-in JavaScript array methods such as map and reduce. Now, if you are applying to a company looking to hire a developer for a specific framework, try to become an expert in that framework. I always hear that you should be learning by doing, and I mostly agree with this, but you should also learn by consuming content from reputable sources. If you just learn by doing, there will be small nuances that you never pick up on. For instance, in React, there are tons of built-in hooks that you might never use. But in my opinion, a truly strong React developer would still have some knowledge of these for when those cases come up where you might actually need to use them. But now front-end interviews aren't always just about coding. Admittedly, in many cases they are. But in some cases, there can be some extra questions asked about how the front-end works or how the internet works in general. So you should be prepared to answer questions like what happens when I type in google.com in the browser, or what does the browser do with the code files that it gets back from the server. You'll also want to spend some time working on projects. Of course, these can be helpful for your resume, but even if you don't use them on your resume, creating different types of front-end projects can be a great way to tackle different types of problems and just expose yourself to different areas of the front-end. The more of this exposure that you have, the more prepared that you will be for various front-end related questions. Additionally, as a front-end engineer, you won't just be asked questions about front-end development. In fact, most big tech companies will give you more standard data structure and algorithm questions than they will give you front-end specific questions. So of course you need to study for these as well. And for that, I have this video over here that you should check out where I detail exactly how I studied for these and how I would recommend that you study for them as well. In this video, I also detail exactly how I solve problems in the most efficient way possible, and pretty much all of that also applies to front-end interviews.